difference. Like this is before, this is, I shot this in neutral. What's up guys? So today I'll be talking about my eight presets that I'll be putting um, for sale or maybe I'll just do it for free, I don't know yet. But this is the first one, this one's called Astronomical. This one's pretty dope because what it does is, as you can see, by the way, all these presets are already adjusted so you don't really need to do anything, but you can always do more if you want to. These ones, the adjustments for the saturations are already done. Everything's a tone curve. So you can see the difference, like this is before, this is, I shot this in neutral. This is the before and then this is the after. The after, you can tell with the shadows, they're completely uh, blown up. I love blowing out the shadows and the saturation. The red is my favorite color. Um, make that super saturated. And you can even tell by the trees, like everything is drastically changed. The blue skies are more aqua-ish color and go to black trail. And I'm just gonna keep it half and half so you can see what it looks like. Black trail is more darkish, gothic kind of uh, kind of feel to it. It's pretty dope. I would I want to use this one on this kind of photo just because I want it more bright and more blown out shadow. Let's go to gold smoky. Gold smoky is pretty harsh. Uh, I kind of like this one actually because it changes the whole kind of photo. The whole bonhomi atmosphere of this photo just changes drastically. Okay, next one, Kodak Black. Kodak Black is pretty dope. It has this kind of, I put this white coating on the Kodak Black one. Uh, you can tell with the, by the before and afters. It has this leopardy kind of look on the trees too, which is pretty cool. I might use this one as the uh, preset um, for my photo. Um, so the whites are just really like bright and clean. This is kind of cl like a clean filter if you want to clean it up. What's the next one? Metal Lights. Metal Lights is also, it's like this kind of like 80s look, if you would say. Uh, not so much green in it, but you could put green in the after effects of it. This one's called Red Troll. This one's pretty cool for like sunset photos. And then we have Step Back. Step Back is pretty cool. So st what Step Back is, is I'll show you guys this one. This is one of my favorites too. Step Back makes it really clean on the bottom. I put this kind of gradient filter where the shadows are just blown out all the way. Uh, look at the trees, they're just gorgeous. This is in New York, by the way. If you haven't been there, you should go check it out. What I like to do with my photos is make it look like someone painted it. So you can tell with the green trees and the, the branches how it looks like kind of sketched, if you may say. This one's pretty dope. Might use this one, actually. It's a pretty good one, you guys. I don't know, there's a lot of good ones. And then this is the last one. This is called Time Grain. Lots of grain in this photo. You can tell by zoom in. Again, this one is, I changed the saturation and the hues of the trees and the colors. So everything just changes the atmosphere for this one, the environment. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, my Instagram is Tyler Snowman's. You can follow me if you'd like. I don't really care. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much.